Welcome to Electron Online. Another application for the exponential function is what we call the radioactive decay process. So let's say we have a radioactive element that, that uh, decays at a certain rate. The equation we use for that is that the amount that we end up with is equal to the initial amount we started with times e to the minus k times t. t stands for time and k is the constant, the decay constant. So let's say in this case k is 0.087. The time will be in days. The initial amount that we start with is 50 grams and we're supposed to find out how much we will have after 10 days and how long it will take to end up with one tenth the original amount. So there's two questions here we're trying to answer. So the first thing we're going to do is simply figure out how much of the amount that we started with we will have left over after a period of 10 days using this equation. So here we say n when t is equal to 10 is equal to the initial amount which is 50 grams times e to the minus k is 0.087 and the time would be 10 days. All right, now we need an equation. I mean, a calculator. We have the equation right there. So we have uh, 0.87 because we have 0 0.087 multiplied times 10. We need a negative sign that becomes the exponent of e to the x and then we multiply the times 50 grams. So let me go ahead and give you an intermediate result. So we have 50 grams multiplied times this quantity right here, which should be 0 0.41895, 0 0.41895, and then times 50, and we get this is equal to 20.95 grams. 20.95 grams is the amount of the radioactive material you will have left after 10 days have elapsed. Now the second part of the question is how much time do you need, will the, uh, well, let me say that again. The how much time will it require for the original amount of 50 grams to go down to one tenth of that. So for the amount they have remaining of the radioactive material to only be five grams. So for that, again, we start with the equation. So N as a function of time is equal to the initial amount times E to the minus KT. Now this is going to become one-tenth of the original amount, so we have one-tenth the original amount is equal to the original amount times e to the minus k times t. Notice that n sub naught, the original amount, will cancel from both sides, and now you simply have one-tenth equals e to the minus kt. Now you take the natural log of both sides, so we take the natural log of one-tenth is equal to the natural log of e to the minus kt, and of course, when you take the natural log of an exponential function, they cancel out. So you end up with the natural log of 1 tenth is equal to minus k times t. And finally, solving that for t, we have t is equal to the negative of the natural log of 1 over 10 divided by k because you'll divide both sides of the equation by negative k, and then you turn the equation around. So this will be equal to the negative of the natural log of 1 tenth, and k is equal to 0 0.087, 0 0.087. All right, so what do we get? So 0.1, take the natural log of that, multiply times the negative 1, and divide by 0 0.087. When I do that, I get 26.47 days. 26.47 days is what it will take for the radioactive material to decay down to where there only, only is one-tenth of it left, so only 10% of the original amount is left after 26.47 days. And that's how that's done.